Hi friends, you are welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we will be covering some important notes in the design of lift well, which we have done in the previous lesson. I'm going to be explaining how you can optimize the reinforcement of the lift well. We will export the lift well to ProtaDetail and from ProtaDetail we will export it to AutoCAD and then we will be considering using soft resin detail template to detail the leaf well and make a construction presentation drawing successfully. I am soft resin. You are very welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Let us get started. At first as you can see in these provisions I have the leaf well heavily reinforced just like this in Prota structure. How do you activate this? If for instance I should get out of that, clicking on that close button and the analytical model, I close that as well. Then I so to activate the reinforcement right away you just have to go to uh, this provision where you have view all right in this provision now you can also be able to activate the analytical model okay for, for the 3d bars model this one you just have to click on it so once you click on that it will take you to the 3d reader rebar model window <laughs> just like this okay so with this now you can just click on the wall bars okay and it will be generated just like this all right so you can see the wall bars okay all right so this is how to activate this so this wall bar successfully all right so in the next thing we'll be looking at i will have to close this we'll be looking at how to op optimize the reinforcement of the lift well walls okay so i will navigate to our uh, story one then for the share wall this one i will right click and then enable roc design roc column slash wall design so we'll be having this so if you notice in the steel bars column provisions you notice that some of the bars are t12 and some are t8 okay to optimize this we want to be rounding all of these to t12 t12 and how do you do that you have to select the one that is t8 that you are going to change having it highlighted just like this click on the interactive design so in the interactive design dialog just like this come to this provision where you have diameter okay you can see t8 t8 and t12 so you just have to select right there in the drop down menu you can be able to select t8 right there just like this okay so you're not having sorry in the drop down you can be able to select t12 rather right so you're not having t12 throughout after we just click on the update okay then click on the okay options so if you check now you can see t12 t12 okay all through all right so the center will be applicable to this this is how you carry out optimizations of the rebars of the walls of the lift well okay just like this so we have to do that to all of these columns you have to change all to t12 because we are going by t12 okay throughout of the lift walls okay click on the close options to close that so having done that successfully we will have to just save the project getting the project safe now we want to be exporting the drawings to proto detail successfully so what we need to do now is we will navigate to the drawings and report in these provisions you just have to click on the proto detail this one select right there so the proto detail is loading successfully as you can see All right, so it is loaded successfully just like this. So what we are going to be using now is the auto generate details. Okay, we may not necessarily use that by creating a new joint. We we'll use auto generate details so that all the details will be generated successfully. So you just click right there. All right, in the draw detail dialog, you just have to take note of the scale, which is one is to fifty. All right, we are not creating any type of block. All right, any sheet we are not inserting any sheet. We just click on draw. Then select any point on the drawing environment. 
you give the progress of seconds to draw all the drawings of the lift well successfully just like this okay so these are the drawings successfully where we have uh, you can see where we have a uh, door the software also created that provisions just like this you can see all right okay so what we need to do now before we export this to AutoCAD, we will need to save this project again okay because the project is titled as drawing one there is no a good title there is no good title to this project so click on the file menu and then scroll down to the save as save drawing as select right there so we will be naming it as lift well just like this okay okay options right there give the progress of seconds to save this project successfully so now the project is saved successfully you just have to navigate to the export the wg slash dsf provisions click right there right click and then select export in the export dialog you will navigate to versions of the autocad version of the wg file you want to export it to i would like us to always be using version 2007 in case you are sending the drawing out wherever the drawing goes to they can be able to open it in any other version successfully after which you click on the export give the program some time to export the drawings successfully and it will, it will show us the uh, directory of the exported drawing you can see all right this is the exported drawing so what we just need to do select the exported drawing just like this and select the open autocad okay click on the continue opening the wg file and all the drawings have been exported successfully to Toka just like this okay so what we just have to do now we are going to copy all of this drawing and then take it to soft region lift where template okay here is the template this template will help us to be able to detail this drawing and have a very good presentation drawing okay so we go back to the leaf well, the one we exported, we just imported from Prota Structure. I like all of this. You right click and then select copy. After which, enable the soft reason leaf well template. Right click and then you paste the copy there drawing so you can just paste it very close to it just like this all right so now i want to be explaining to us how we can be able to effectively reference this uh, template in order for you to be able to have and then be able to carry out a quick detailing of your lift way successfully so if you check here what you're having is the plan view of the lift well okay the plan view of the lift well and you should observe that this wall this wall and this wall are the same because we are having a kind of a squared uh lift well okay while this wall is different from these three walls and so because the, uh, we, have, we have an entrance at this wall okay so what you just have to do is to just copy this wall And then you copy it you bring it close to these provisions so i've already edited this all right the dimension we use in the modeling is 2.025 by 2.025 so i've already given this was name as wall one this one is wall one this this one is also similar to this and as well as this one is only this one that is wall two which is different from every other walls because of this uh entrance door yeah okay so you just have to reference it to be able to adjust in line with the one you just brought in from protest structure successfully after which after the adjustment is done since we are having a three similar walls and then one different walls 
you come over to the next stage the next stage is to look at the rc this rc detail of leaf well plate raft foundations okay so this is the plate raft foundations okay and the section you can see the section i cut section aa so we proceed to copy the uh the slab detail from Prota structure which is this one you can see this is 29 t12 okay at 125 center to center in that directions and this one in other directions successfully so if you highlight all of this okay and then this one is the cherry bar you also have to take this alongside and then you copy it right there you move it close to these provisions okay so with this since it is the same dimension for instance i pick the dimension linear dimension line pick the first point right there and the second point you can see is 2.025 okay which is the same thing here so you just have to edit that okay this is the clear support distance to the slab okay for the leaf wire is 800 800 left and right you can see okay and then you detail the plate slab successfully it's just for you to look at the rebar this one is spanning in the horizontal directions and then it is spanning is 29 of this t12 okay so you come to these provisions where you have this is the bar spanning in the horizontal directions okay it is 29 of that all right so i'm having 25 there so you just have to double click on this text and then you'll be able to change it to 29 so it's going to be 2029 because it is top and bottom all right the spacing is 125 so you change the spacing instead of 150 to 125 as this software has actually designed for or successfully in this provision you make it white wave you change the white to t all right you give a little space here so you have something like this this is top and bottom all right so the same thing it will be applicable to the rebar that is spanning in the vertical direction which is this one all right so if you come to these provisions now you check the rebar this one is spanning in the vertical directions so we're having 29 2t12 because it is the same uh length so we are still having 29 t12 at bar mark this one is the bar mark too all right and then this person is 125 so the 29 you're having there how do they get it 29 you have to get the distance the distance which is what the distance is uh 800 plus 2025 plus 800 so by the time you sum it up you sum that up you will be having 800 just like this plus 800 plus 2025 plus okay 800 plus 800 plus 2025 give you the full length okay in that direction click on the equals so you have three 0.625 so you have to divide this by this person to get the number of the bar that will span in that directions so you have to use the device and then you input this person 125 right there it was you have 29 so this 29 is what you're having there so that is how this 29 came about but the way i do my own design is once i have that 29 i will have additional one bar to make it 30 for the uh factors of safety in case of overcut okay so we're not run out of bar at site during constructions so since they're having 29 for me i will just have to edit this right away and make it 30 of that uh, numbers of bar just like this okay that one bar i added is for an unforeseen circumstances okay so we have this in that directions in this other directions we still have the same thing so you just have to double click and make the editing successfully all right so this is 30 and here we'll be having 12 okay you give it a express all right just like this then edit this as well to 125 spacing 125 instead of 150 all right so this has been edited successfully so this is how this template will help you to edit this so since we're coming to the foundation there is a section here that i've already cut all right section aa so if you come over here you can see the section aa i have a 50 millimeter blinding thick blinding all right you have to have this blinding before you start to uh produce your 
uh, biscuits for your uh, concrete cover, all right, and then you begin to lay your reinforcement successfully, just like this. So this is the section AA, all right. So over here, you can see the depth of the foundation. This is thickness is 350, all right. Then for the blinding, it's 50 mm. If I should dimension that from this point to this point, it is 50 mm, just like this. You can see 50 mm, while the thickness of the plate is 350. From the plate to the actual ground level is 900. Okay, from the actual ground level to the finished floor level, it is one, uh, 450 plus 150, which is 600. All right, just like this. That is the section of this. Then the first reinforcement detail of the wall one will take from the foundations to the finish floor level. So you can see. All right. So the number of this is six because it is six because this is majorly is for two lift well. All right. So, but since this is for one lift well, what you just need to do is to change the number toss to three. All right. You change this position to three. Okay, why? Why is it three? Is because if you come to you are layout here, you can see what one is three similar what one we have in the drawing. One, two, three. Okay, why one two is only one. So that is why we are having it as three in these provisions. Okay, just like this. So this one is seven by twelve. All right, at zero three, two hundred spacing center to center. But mind you. The software gives us a uh, spacing of 300, but we decide to use uh, 200, okay? So as to counter and unforeseen circumstances. All right? So the same thing applicable to this is the wall, too, which is only one wall that we have in these provisions, okay? So you can see all of this has been detailed successfully. So there is a section two, section one, one, okay? This section I cut it and then I brought it here. So this is how it looks, all right? In the plan view of that section, it's like this, okay? So coming to this provisions where we have the full height of the well, just like this details, okay? If I zoom closely right there, you can see the mezzanine slab, okay? Right top there, and the, the reinforcement is close to face and far from face, or you can call it as near face and far face that's why you're having two times nine white wave zero seven at 200 spaces center to center this one is spanning in both directions because it is a double reinforced wall that's why you're having two yeah the same thing applicable to all of these ones okay so you can see the story labeled successfully this is the ground floor slab okay it is at 600 millimeter from the ground level. Okay, you can see here, this is the flint floor level. This is the actual ground level. So it is 600 from this level, successfully. Detail of war one. Okay, six number of this, but in this case, you change it to three number. Okay, we have this three of this. All right, so this is the detail of the wall two. Here we have the door successfully so you can see the door being demarcated and separated just like this and then every other reinforcement has been done successfully okay and as well the sections is being cut so this is the sections this provision is for the door the door is one meter as you can see all right so the provision is for the door okay while this is the section for this particular uh war one so this template will actually help you to be able to do some necessary adjustment so as to help you have a very good presentation and construction drawings all right so if you want to download this template you can get the link at the description of this video all right the link to download this template is at the description of this video so just click on the link and then you'll be able to download the template successfully this is the template for the lift presentations and construction drawing okay so i will end the lesson here and see you in the next lesson don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel bye for now